Now I'll be very honest with you, there's a lot of artists out there that know how to cook and draw characters in the best and positive of ways when it comes down to it. And a lot of characters that's definitely out there that do need some praise. I remember a long time ago, Pan did not get a lot of content back then. Like there was very few pictures in between here and here where she actually got some art. But lo and behold, nowadays we get a lot of underrated characters actually getting some good art. And Pan is absolutely one of those characters that get it. But if you're telling me who is by far directly the leader of the pan movement of art and just who can make pan look good overall, and granted, there's a lot of damn people that can make pan look good overall. However, I would give that shit to Ram Taku. Now, before we continue on with this amazing man's art and his work, when it comes down to it though, I did build a new channel for the shorts, so if you haven't seen yesterday's previous video, please do go ahead and check that out. Also, on this number day of next month will be my birthday. I'll be 23. Uh, okay, so basically when it comes down to it though, I guess just to say when it comes down to that, I'm putting Throne Gifts on blast because when it comes down to it though, I usually only promote Throne Gifts during my birthday season and much less Christmas season. So I guess we're doing that. Or if really you don't want to do that, there's other options too. Like I'll be running a sale from, you know, until from this day really to my birthday for like $10 off on any gift. So, you know, you have that going into the store if you want to buy some merch, honestly. And then at the same time, I'm really not really having much uh, of an idea of what I would want to go get, honestly. So when it comes down to it, really, if all for my birthday, I would really want is just some fan art or just some money. Either, either both things could do well. You could add, you could make both things be the same thing, you know, you have both at the same time. But ultimately, that's essentially what is, uh, you know, eventually going to be happening in the future, at least regarding next month. So, looking forward to that, kind of, not really looking forward to getting older, but looking forward to, you know, what could potentially happen. So, you know, hit the subscribe button to stick around if you want to just deal with all that. But anyway, as a kid growing up, I learned a few things very quickly and early on when it comes down to women. Number one, a lot of them look really cute with pink hair. And number two, I knew that jeans and ass go together hand in hand. And when I saw Pan, I'm not gonna hold you, before there was a dump truck eerie, there was big booty jeans having ass pan, 100%. Not a real good name, but it is what it is. But the point is, when I saw Pan and obviously were her wearing on damn jeans, I already knew that there was some nonsense at play here. I was like, okay, she got ass on them jeans. There has to be the, that's the only reason why any woman would wear jeans at all. Otherwise it would be sweatpants, but no one wore sweatpants like back then. So it is what it is when it comes down to it. And I'm just glad I'm not the only one who thinks Pan actually has a dump truck ass, honestly. Like hot take, a extremely hot take for a lot of you guys. But when it comes down to it though, I would say Pan has more ass or should have more ass than Eerie should. I'll be completely honest with you. As much as I let some, you know, dump truck eerie, I, I think Pan should have quality more ass than her, honestly. She should be the OG of having lolly ass. And to me, there is very few people that can really draw Pan and have like a dump truck ass and just make her look good overall. And one of the few people that is really damn good and probably at the peak of it is obviously Ram Taku. Now when it comes down to it, his art style obviously looks very reminiscent to Dragon Ball Z. And it looks a lot better than sometimes the actual show itself, honestly. Hell, I would even go as far as say that a lot of the portrait pictures that be in like card games and even some of the mobile games look way better with you know what rom can create than what dragon ball can actually make honestly at least that's what it feels like to me hell this person really is like the harry sky of literally just paying content and if you don't know who harry sky is essentially it's a harry suzumiya artist who draw nothing but harry suzumiya stuff honestly and for those that don't know, Harvey Sky is basically just a person that had the art of Harvey Suzumiya, like a lot of it, and that's what basically they named themselves after. And they do a pretty decent job, and we talked about them before because they just did Madaka art. Hi, damn! We're gonna have to talk about that a little bit later, but point is. <laughs> Pan has the best of both worlds 
genetically because she got the sex appeal and sexiness of Chi Chi but also the sexiness of Adele as well and while people get mad at her and being in Xenoverse and all that type of stuff which is some nonsense to be very honest with you why would you reject either genetic side of each of these hoes like they look very damn good overall when it comes down to it now to be fair i'm not even like super hyped over the design of like the dragon ball super version of Han. and when they draw it for some reason it just looks peak for some reason she just looks mad good it's like yeah i'd stick my dick in that why not so when it comes down to it though they even made the new version of her look pretty damn good so that's some high quality stuff right there the point is when i look at this art of rom and what they can do they are just really damn good number one and two they know how to make pan shine through harder than she ever has before and i'm just happy that there's somebody that's out there that has consistently made a good number of pan content because i'm gonna be very honest with you again back in the day there was hardly anybody making shit i remember back then there was not enough vanilla the rabbit content back then but now we're getting that type of stuff so again it's good to see that people are now realizing hold up these characters were kind of fun. This character right here was kind of hot. Pan had a dunk truck ass, so I'm gonna need to draw some more of this stuff and actually, you know, produce an, a semi niche ecosystem of just content of a certain character. So it's nice to see, honestly. If we can get that for Konako, now I'd be extremely happy. But when it comes down to it, though, you know, it's just good to see Pan finally getting the dunk truck ass, you know, pandering that she deserves, honestly. They ain't call her Pan for absolutely none. Like, Pan isn't just bringing the bakery. She literally is the damn bakery when it comes down to, like, genetics of, again, Chi Chi and Videl and everything. I feel like we need a nickname for Pan because we gave one to Iri and Tatsumaki, so I guess Pan needs to be bakery cakery pan honestly or hot and ready pan well i'll let y'all decide on what name we should go with but when it comes down to it though so now we have don't truck eerie or more so we have big booty eerie then we have tatsumaki swiss thighs for the thick thighs and now bakery cakery pan what the hell am i talking about i have no idea but point is if you want to see more of rom's work there's a lot of places where you can check them out honestly but we'll stick to the whole twitter of everything and so if you want to see more of their artwork especially the good cotton ready creamed up version of those buns being cheeked up and everything with cream in between you know definitely go look at the other places where he uploads because there's some good quality content there and uh yeah again also follow them and just support them in any way that they have so that's essentially all i really wanted to say for this one so hopefully you did enjoy if you did be sure to like share subscribe hit the bell notification way out also follow me on social and if you like to donate to the channel ko-fi and cash app is available as well and until then it's boy jay sign off have a blessed day